I want um, I want to open up. I want everybody to hit 25 repetitions on the flow for the month. So those of you that haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. And if uh, if you haven't been here as you've gone through it, today when you pair up, try to pair up experience with inexperience as much as possible. Everybody in the room's got a decent amount of experience here. But let's go like black belts, pick a white belt. Brown belts, pick a, you know what I'm saying? Spread out the experience through the room. All right, we're starting with the drill. I got the underhook and I got the frame. She walks through. Slip underneath. She's gonna stay balanced. I'm gonna switch, bump, take the waiter sweep. <laughs> Starting with a frame and an underhook. Ready? One, two, three. 25. Let's go. So the waiter sweep, like I was saying as I introduced it to you. From the beginning? Yeah. The waiter sweep is requiring a specific reaction from our partner on top. Right? So start to make the play. It's requiring that she have a seat in a way that doesn't expose her to being bumped this way or to being turned and swept this way because those are the two first sweeps so it requires the top player to be just a little bit better which we like we like to build that into the drill you got to be good in order to do this drill good okay today we're going to talk about the two base sweeps though this is the 80 20 of the deep path is these two sweeps almost everything that you do from the deep half is going to be either sweep back or sweep forward okay our first reaction is going to be that Lindsay has her weight too high her hips are too high or she's leaning forward this direction here okay anytime that you feel that you can feel the weight comes off of the hips if the weight comes off of the hips then my body is free I'm just gonna follow her the direction that she's asking to go key detail here for me I bump everything forward like I'm pushing it over my head same thing that I was just doing with my knee when we entered, I'm also going to do that on her other hip with my shoulder. So I punch that one. You see that? I punch that one forward. So I go. And then I shrug out the hole. Just shrug out the back door. All right. So when I feel her weight settle forward, I pop out the back. And I turn quickly and start to try to look for this leg here. Once I have that foot, try to run. Now I can pop up, tap the knee, and jump and stay up and drive not forward, but here where she cannot base. And now I can start to work whatever style of passing presents itself. Probably going to be some body lock passing on the other side of that. Can you do that again? Yes, so sir, I sure can. Thank you. Yep. So one. And she may, oh, that's it. Big mistake. Common reaction. And I'll look for this foot as quick as I can. Look how I'm staying tight to the hip. Look for that foot as quick as I can. And I turn to my knees like I'm coming up on the dog fight. I got it. Ready? One, two, three. Honestly, that's probably the most common reaction, right? Because, but I think that that's the most common reaction. Uh, a, because of the way most people, they don't, they don't automatically go to their butt. So if you're ever dealing with a wrestler, he's not going to sit on his butt and give you the other sweep. He's, you're going to get that sweep every time, or you're going to get that exchange every time. If he's a good wrestler, you're going to have your hands full right there, right? So. Uh, a lot of guys, when they turn out the back, they opt to, uh, a lot of jujitsu guys opt to take the back, like attempt a 
a back take right there instead of coming up and wrestling. To me, the least resistance is to come up and wrestle in no gi. And the gi is kind of different because you got a belt to hang on to right there. You got sleeves, a collar, all that stuff. Anyway, uh, for me, this, or the second reason that people react that way the most commonly is the way that most people play their deep half from the bottom. So we'll go in to the deep half here. Most people play their deep half grabbing this hip, or even if, <clears throat> even if they grab this hip, they allow their shoulder to come out of black to be out of position and stuff. Their arms are out of position or their posture's bad and they get turned. But if you do everything right, when you enter, if you keep your shoulder in position, if you keep your posture right, the easiest thing for her to do is what? Where's the easiest place for you to fall? It still feels forward? What if I went like that? Now where's the easiest place to fall? It's imperceptible, right? So all I did was just grip her like this on the inside of her knee and just close my elbow, that's it. That's all I did, right? So her hands are on the floor and I want her to sit that way. Does that feel like the easiest thing anymore? Do it. How about now? So look how I'm levering that knee with my hip. See how it makes her just want to have a seat right there. It's the easiest sweep in the world. So for me, when I play the deep half, because I try to keep my shoulder under this hip, if it's back here, it's not easy for her to sit down anymore. You guys see? It's under here, there's a, there's a place for her to fall. So as I enter, it just gives a real easy spot for her to just have a seat. And if my follow-up pass is tight, like if it's one move, instead of, okay, I sweep, then I come up and then I look to pass. Don't think that way. I want you to sweep pass as one movement. You'll only score for the sweep, but you'll be past the guard. If you need to score the points, hold back and, uh, and get the pass points. And then you get five instead of two. But I just care about killing for the most part. Unless the points turn. So we enter, we get underneath, I'm on the inside with that I love you grip. Elbow is tight, I'm protected. Maybe I'm thinking man, maybe my arm is hiding underneath. Or maybe I'm real brave and very disciplined. Oh good, that's the kind of stuff I like. I, I show her a little gap there, go ahead. Here we go. Okay, anyway, here. A little bump this way is an encouragement for her to do what? To sit back and as she sits, I pull it this way with me. And now my first movement as I follow her is not to allow her to sit and then for me to chase her. I'll miss the connection. The movement is for me to follow with my chest. So as she sits an inch in that direction, my chest follows her. And look how I'm posturing out the back. Stay up, stay up, stay up. And it puts me, don't, don't let me pass. Look, okay. it's a free pass. I'm trying. That's what I thought. I'm gonna pin that hip this way so I don't have to go through the over under pass. I'm gonna, we're gonna drill the over under pass. I'm just showing you the way that I like to do it if I can. As long as my posture comes up big, then I can pin her right here with my shoulder and I never have to deal with her guard specifically, which is a pain in the butt in this spot. If I come up passing like this, she's a pain in the butt right here. Like put those stinking hooks in. I hate that. Crap hooks guard that she does. It's the worst. So as we enter, I'm tied underneath. Big movement is this way. Look, I'm bridging back. Don't, don't, uh, yeah. Don't fall. Don't fall. I'm bridging back. Do you see it? And that's what gives me the clearance to keep that hip on the ground. And I can do what I want with my legs back here. Okay. The drill you're gonna do. From the beginning. Yeah. Well, she sits. Keep your guard. Keep your guard this time. Keep your guard this time. Square back up. Move your hip out here. There you go. And I gotta learn. The pass. No, don't fight so much. Keep it going, keep it going. 
That's it. Bottom guy, you got to do that. Don't hook me with this one. Keep my guard with this one. Don't do your guard. Do this one. Yes. If you do your guard, they're not going to understand what to do, right? So you have to hook me like you're trying to keep a half guard. She was reacting this way already, so I can't pin her yet. I get her. She couldn't come back this way. She was trying to get to this butterfly. Now I got to pass a different way. I need to go with this. You guys got it? Ready? One, two, three. Under. Look, it's the same ending as the flower sweep with my hips. So I tilt him forward and watch my legs. It's the same in there. Okay. That's the flowers. So it's just that same motion now with the deep half. <laughs> so as I finish it up here, look, it's the same motion as my flower sweep. So you're going. Makes sense. This one at the end. It, it straightens out and kind of sucks out so that your hip can be the first thing to hit the mat. That way you always can turn. If your knee stops here, you've got to get up over your knee you get a little bit to turn. So we go. Wrap around the leg. And come up, let your hip be the first thing. Does that make sense? Take it around the back. So stay with your partner here. I want you to run through the drill. Run through the drill. The opening part of it. He goes knee on belly. I slide, go ahead. I slide him through and I bump him into the deep half. Once I'm under in the deep half, I want you to settle in and get, get the position that you feel like you really want. There we go. Feel like place where you feel like you can stay on top. And then we're gonna go live. Right? If I sweep, I win. If he subs me or passes, he wins. Alright, ready? Yep. Go. Turn. We'll just go again. Figured I would do more All right, ready? One, two, three. Six minute rounds. Hey, listen. Uh, if you're smart, you'd be trying to get to the deep half during your training. If you're not, just keep doing what you're like. Gordon, how'd you pick that up so quick? He just showed it. We'll do this one plus the next one. Okay. He already missed two minutes. 